Hi, guys. Oh, Hi, good. everyone in Helensburg. Hi. Um, how are you guys? We're very well. Very sore after a lot of surfing. All the surfing? Uh, we've been doing a surf camp on, on the weekend. Uh, not me personally, but Mike has been coordinating a surf camp. Uh, Mike Croft there in the background. Uh, they've come to serve with us for the last two weeks. And uh, it's been a real blessing. And we took away about 20 young people um, on the weekend all of whom have never actually learned how to surf before and it was a great time of ministry and um, blessing and also lots of people learn how to surf for the first time so that's really exciting yeah awesome now a couple a couple of really important questions how far are you guys away from the beach and what is crofty maybe you can tell us what's the surf like there we're about 45 k's from figuera de foz and Cabdell which are two of the major surf spots in this region. Um, the surf has varied from um, up to two metres down to about six inches. And <laughs> this last week, the conditions were very good for learning. So um, it, was, it was very good. One tip you've been telling them, mate, what's the, what's the one thing they need to do? Wait, use the wave, wave's energy and don't fight the wave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, now, tell us how this came about. How did the surf camp come about and uh, how did you get to, to this point of, of running a surf camp over there? Well, we knew that the cross were coming and we thought, how can we use this great couple in order to reach people who don't know Jesus at the University of Queenborough? And so we thought of this idea of learning to surf because a lot of people would love to surf in Portugal but never have had the opportunity. And so we thought, well, let's have a learn to surf camp and also have a component where we could share the gospel with people on the weekend. So it's all just really come together. The crofts have been amazing. Uh, it hasn't really mattered that they only speak English because a lot of the kids here speak English as well. And when they've had to operate through translation, they've been very patient. So, yeah, it's been a really good time. Um, we, uh, we're involved with uh, university students who are studying at the university here. Most are already believers, but some aren't. And so there's a number of activities that we do with them. And Mike and Trish have been great in fitting in with the programs that have already happened as well. So they've done uh, a seminar for our students on, on relationships and marriage. And they've also got alongside our students with uh, just encouraging them and uh, seeking to mentor them to live a life worthy of the gospel. And it's been great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, tell us, uh, uh, we've been in and out of, uh, of hearing from you guys in terms of the, uh, the, the university ministry there generally. Can you give us a, a bit of an update on how things are going generally and uh, how are you going with talking to people about the gospel generally? Well, yeah, it's going pretty well. Like we've had a really good year. The leadership team that we've had of students have been very good and they've certainly developed as Christian leaders. Uh, we're thinking that maybe we could be reaching out to more unbelievers than we are at the moment, but we give thanks that we think at least two unbelievers have come to know Jesus through this last semester. So their names are Tatiana and Deborah, uh, so two girls. Uh, on this weekend, we had a number of unbelievers as well. So you could be in prayer for a girl named Raquel, who just came as a result of a poster that was hanging up at the Mass Department of the university, didn't know anybody, came along, has kind of a Catholic background, but is certainly not in any way practicing or uh, going to church or anything like that. And also so, uh, Dimitri, mm, who is a Russian speaker, also a, a math student, and uh, he he sat back and listens to uh, the believers on the weekend sharing about their faith, and uh, he hasn't said much, but he, he's quietly, things are ticking over in his mind, so pray that he would would see that uh, the claims of Jesus are not just for others around him but also directly for him as well and come to accept oh. Jesus. And um, 
just while you're on uh, while we're on for prayer, if you can remember also please to pray for uh, Fernanda who has been reading the Bible with me and also a Muslim uh, girl called Fatima who um, has received a, per a Bible in Persian and uh, I, I can't write her name over the internet because of security reasons, but if you could please pray that uh, the gospel would shine, that the light of the gospel would shine into her heart. Um, that would be great. And we really thank you. Thank you, guys. We know that you guys do pray for us, and sometimes it seems like uh, it, we seem so far away. It's hard to know what to pray, but God hears your prayers, and your prayers are being answered, and we feel strengthened and encouraged oh. by, uh, by you guys. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you for those who went to the prayer breakfast. I think it was two Saturdays ago as well. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Brilliant. You guys want to say anything? Mark and Cushy. Mike and Trish, how are you guys going? Uh, we, we're having just the most wonderful time here. Um, you mentioned the uh, the students. Um, we feel somewhat inferior. Most of them are on their second degree. Dimitri, who was mentioned, is doing postdoctoral work in mathematics, and so. We, we had no idea what he was talking about, but it was very, very interesting. <laughs> Square root of 64 and all that. Yeah, good. It's been, it's been brilliant having um, translated conversations. It's just been brilliant. We've enjoyed it immensely. And the questions about our faith and our life as Christians uh, have been, it's been intense, but really encouraging. Yes. Can you tell us about one of those conversations in particular? I'll tell you a small one. Um, at, on the Saturday afternoon at the surf camp, one of the young women, Gabby, she's very keen. Um, she's planning a mission trip to Cyprus. And she was just talking about how do you know the direction of, that God wants you to go? She has a heart for mission. And I just was, we're just chatting away and I was saying that sometimes it uh, could be just circumstance. You just go along and try and follow and it could be something just a natural progression and I also shared about how the Moyers went to Tanzania someone told them and it just became a burning desire that God was compelling them to go so conversations like that have just been wonderful the people are so warm and from many nations not just Portugal at the camp there was a fellow from Angola a girl from Italy Brazil. people from Brazil so it's a, a, a lots and lots of different folk and I'm encouraged that these um, intelligent, mature, committed people will become leaders in their communities and perhaps in another country. Mm -hmm. So the work of GBU, I think it's invaluable. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, I know you guys pray for, for Link missionaries around the world and you have been praying for us. And just to encourage you that through your prayers, other missionaries are sent out because Gabby, who Trish mentioned, is is a girl that we've been seeking to disciple over a few years and I know people have been praying for her and then now she's got the call for going and just sharing Jesus with others in a little tiny island called Cyprus, which is half Muslim, half uh, Greek Orthodox. Right. Yeah, wow. And what has no. um, encouraged her to go there in particular? Is that where she's from? Uh, she's actually Portuguese. Um, she's just been looking for mission opportunities and it's a very needy place. And there's a, a minister there and his wife who are asking for young people from Europe to come. And so she's responded uh, to the call. Uh, very, very needy place, very hard place to share the gospel. But um, she's going out in faith that God will strengthen her and give her the words to say. So that's great. If we drop out, it's because the batteries run out because your service has gone too long. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. Now, look, we're going to pray for you in a moment, but I do have one last question. Uh, Matt and Louise, when you guys were here recently, I remember, Louise, you came to one of the prayer nights that we had here and you brought some of those Portuguese tarts. Um, how many kilos is Mike Croft going to put on when he gets back? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to say, guys, I have seen them eat a few Portuguese tarts uh, while we've been here. <laughs> but they've also been running around after after us serving and uh, surfing. So, you know, 
Bit of luck. <laughs> Great. Well, we we uh, we love you guys and and support you and look forward to seeing you guys soon. Obviously, the Crofts will see you guys back here real soon and uh, safe travels back. Uh, and Matt and Louise, we're right behind you and uh, we're we're thankful for your work and we do pray for you regularly and we'll continue to do that. Uh, but how about I pray now on behalf of us all, uh, those here tonight and those who will see this again next week at uh, at the 10 a.m. service. What time is it there at the moment, actually, out of interest? It's 10 a.m. Okay, so that's not too bad, not too bad. But we would have caught you in the middle of the night if we had done it this morning. <laughs> well, we're going to pray for you and for all the people that you've mentioned and all the things that have been going on. Uh, so everyone behind me or in front of me or wherever you're seeing me, <laughs> you, you, let's uh, bow our heads and we'll pray. Okay. Lord and God, we thank you so much that your gospel is going out across the world and that's happening on this very day. And Lord, we're thankful that uh, uh, we can have this chat uh, across the world and we can be encouraged by each other's faith. We can be encouraged by the things that are happening in different parts of the world and we can be encouraged by uh, our brothers and sisters. Lord, we thank you so much for the things that have been taking place uh, at, at the university in Quimbra and the, and the, uh, the situation there with the uh, surf camp and the Crofts being able to help out with that. Lord, we thank you so much uh, for the partnership in the gospel that is able to be there uh, between uh, the Crofts and the Georges. And Lord, we thank you for the opportunities that that has brought over the last couple of weeks. Uh, Lord, we thank you so much for the fellowship that has, uh, that has happened between them as they've uh, been involved in ministry together. Lord, we thank you so much for uh, the various different conversations uh, that have been had, uh, not only at the surf camp, but around uh, uh, the campus and in other places. Uh, Lord, of all, for all the people that have been mentioned, uh, we thank you for the impact that your word is having upon them. Uh, we pray, please, Lord, that you would continue to impact people and that these people who have been mentioned today uh, would be people who continue to investigate who you are by digging into your word more and more. Mm. Uh, Lord, we ask, please, that, uh, uh, that you might continue to put uh, Christians in the path of more and more people at the university and in various other places mm. uh, throughout the world, throughout uh, Europe, throughout Portugal and throughout Coimbra in particular. Lord, we pray, please, that many people would come to know you and that these people who are investigating you from various different backgrounds uh, would decide to uh, not only understand who you are, but to put their trust and faith in you as well. Lord, we pray for uh, the, the last couple of days of the, of the Cro uh, Crofts time there, and uh, we pray, please, that it would be similarly fruitful as the last few days have been, uh, and that as they uh, leave, that there'd be continuing conversations that Matt and Louise would be able to continue on uh, and engage with. Uh, Lord, we pray for us that we might... Uh, uh, continue to pray for the ministry in Portugal. We pray that you would lay it upon our hearts to make uh, uh, that a priority. And uh, we pray, please, Lord, that uh, uh, that you would uh, allow these guys to be in our hearts, in our minds, and most importantly, in our prayers from day to day. Lord, we ask, please, uh, that you might uh, uh, continue to work your great power in that part of the world as people come into contact with the gospel of Jesus again. Uh, and Lord, we ask this. Uh, knowing that you are a good and powerful God who saves people by the message of the cross. And uh, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 See you guys. These guys. See you. Yes. Thanks again. Bye. 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 Look at them all waving. Bye. 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 See you soon. <laughs>